Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Smitha. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you this look, which is a very traditional South Indian bridal look. I'll walk you through everything step by step and I'll give you an explanation of every technique that I've used for this look. This is perfect for anybody who's planning to do your own makeup for your big day. So without further ado, let's get this started. And if you're new to my channel, please take a moment to subscribe. I always like to start with my eyebrows. I feel like once it's done, you can keep that aside and focus on the other makeup. So to fill in the sparse areas of my brows, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in dark brown. With the help of this angled brush, I'm going to fill in the sparse areas. Next, I'm taking some concealer. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Pure Beige. You can use any concealer that you like. I'm going to use this to clean up the borders of my eyebrows using the e.l.f. concealer brush. And then I'm going to bring the concealer down to my eyelids to even out the base before I apply any eyeshadows over it. Using the NYC Loose Powder, I'm going to set this concealer on my lid just so it doesn't settle in those fine lines and start creasing. Some scotch tape on the sides of your eyes will keep your eyeshadows looking clean with those sharp edges. I'm taking this ivory shimmer from my Morphe 35F palette to highlight my brow bones as well as inner corners. Next, I'm taking this dark brown shade with this flat fluffy brush from Wet n Wild. This is perfect for the crease to carve out the crease and to deepen it. So I'm going to use the color to deepen the crease. And then I'm taking this really soft blending brush from Wet n Wild to diffuse out that color so it blends into my skin and there's no sharp edges left. Before I cut the crease, I'm going to clean up the lids using the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. I'm going to dip a Q-tip in this and clean up the entire lid. So that'll give you a clean surface to work with and it's easier to cut the crease as well with the concealer. Now I'm taking some concealer, the LA Girl Pro Conceal with a flat shader brush and I'm going to cut my crease. To set this concealer, I'm very lightly dusting the NYC loose powder just to make sure it doesn't settle in those fine lines and starts to crease. Next I'm taking some black eyeshadow with this small shader brush. I'm going to define the outer corner. Just like you apply the wing in a winged liner, I'm going to use the eyeshadow in a similar way and I'm going to soften the edges as it moves towards the lid. To paint my lids, I'm going to use this very light antique gold color. It's a very pretty color. I'm going to first spray my flat shader brush with some setting spray from Wet n Wild. You can use any setting spray. It just makes the brush tacky and it helps to pick that pigment better and it also shows up better on your lids. Now I'm taking this brown and I'm going to apply it between the gold and the black just to have that smooth transition. I'm going to clean up all the fallout before I prime my face with the NYX Photo Loving Primer. For foundation, I'm going with Lancome Tint Idol in 430, which is bisque. I'm going to be applying it with the super soft Kabuki brush from Sigma. This is their 3D HD Max Kabuki, so I'm going to be applying it all over my face and neck. This is a long wear foundation and gives excellent coverage. I'm going to go around my face one more time with a damp beauty sponge just to smooth out everything and to avoid any blotchiness. 
To highlight the high planes of my face, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Pure Beige. I'm going to focus in areas where the light falls on my face. And when you highlight your cheeks, make sure you bring the concealer down all the way to the sides of your nose. If you don't do that, there is a shadow that's casted on the sides of your nose and it kind of looks dark. To avoid that, make sure it's blended well on the sides. And I'm going to be cream contouring using the Wet n Wild Contour Stick in Give Me Mocha. And then I'm going to blend out everything using a damp beauty sponge. Now, what does a damp sponge actually mean? What I personally do is I let the sponge sit under running water for about 10 seconds. Then I squeeze out all the water. I make sure all the water is gone. And then I will put it in a dry towel and remove all the excess water that is still remaining in the sponge. Once I've done that, I'm ready with the sponge and that is my damp beauty sponge. I'm going to take some loose powder to set all areas of my face where I use the concealer, mostly all the high points. And then after I've dusted off all the excess powder, I'm going to set the entire face with the Tarte Smooth Operator Press Powder in medium. Now let's move back and finish up the eye makeup. I'm adding an extra layer of loose powder under my eyes so in case there's any fallout it's easier to dust it off later. First I'm taking this dark brown and I'm going to smoke it out in my outer two thirds using this pencil brush. I'm going to apply this antique gold in the inner one third. To tightline my waterline, I'm using my favorite eye pencil from the drugstore. This is the Giordana Easy Liner in black. And another favorite, I'm using the Italia Deluxe Perfect Waterproof Eyeliner to draw out a wing and line my top lash line. Next, I'm taking some black eyeshadow with this flat definer brush and I'm going to stamp this right below my lower waterline. After I've dusted off all the excess powder and any fallouts, I'm going to prep my lashes for the falsies by curling it and applying a coat of mascara. The mascara that I'm using today is Wet n Wild's Mega Length Mascara. For lashes, I'm using Harjot Lashes in Bossy. These are faux mink lashes, so they are cruelty free. And I'm going to go with the lash band one more time with the eyeliner to conceal it. To finish up, I'm applying a coat of mascara to my lower lashes and that concludes my eye makeup. For a dusky sun-kissed glow, I'm going to be bronzing my face using Paranoid from the Sin Afterglow palette. This is from Urban Decay. For blush, I'm going with Score. This is a very light blush, so it gives you just enough coverage and a hue of rosiness on the topmost points of my cheekbones. And to highlight, I'm taking Sin and applying it on the high planes of my face. As you can see, it's pretty pigmented, so all you need is very little.
On my lips, I'm going with this rose petal color. This is the Rude Notorious Matte Lip Color in Seductress. And this is the perfect match for the sari that I'll be wearing. With that, it's long lasting and transfer proof. So it's perfect for events where you have to sit for a long time and also have to eat and drink and want your lipstick to be intact. To lock and seal everything, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray. This will keep my makeup intact, it will not let it move and it's going to keep it long lasting. Adding some finishing touches to the look with some jewelry and bindi, it's always good to go with a round red bindi when in doubt. It always looks good in pictures. All the jewelry that I'm wearing today belongs to my cousin. My aunt was nice enough to send it to me so I could use it in my tutorials. So thank you so much Meera Auntie and Bhavana if you're watching this. And my sari is from Bangalore. It's a pure Kanjivaram traditional South Indian silk sari. And here's the final look. Simple, elegant and two point. Let me know what you guys thought by commenting below. And don't forget to hit the like button. I really love the fact that you guys give me such good ratings. It really helps me a lot. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon with another tutorial. Bye guys.